Welcome back, everyone. You may be in a situation where you keep getting this little prompt that comes up that states not all contacts were deleted, and maybe it says one or more of the contacts are read only or whatever the case is. Now, the reason you're getting that specific prompt is mostly because the specific contact you're actually trying to delete is not actually a contact that's saved within maybe your iPhone contacts. Maybe it was saved via Google Contacts or WhatsApp or even some other applications out there. So if you're using a different messaging application, so let's say you were going using your phone and for some reason you have a specific application that you know you also message from like Telegram, or maybe you use WhatsApp. Well, if you have a contact that's saved in those applications, it may not actually go ahead and delete that contact from your contacts page because it actually has to be deleted from that specific application. So what I would recommend doing is making your way over to any other application that also reads from your contacts. So that includes WhatsApp, Google Contacts, if you're using Gmail a lot, you may wanna make your way over to those applications, Telegram, a lot of those different types of you know WeChat even, whatever application you're using that actually reads contacts as well, you have to go ahead and make your way over to that specific application and delete the application and delete the contact there too. So that's something that happens to me all the time. Also, if your contacts are saved on your SIM card, you may have to go ahead and delete the contacts maybe a different way. You can try using a different application to delete those contacts as well. So those are pretty much the main things to do. Now, let's say you do that and it's still not working. Well, you may have to go ahead and update your iPhone. So in this case, I would recommend going back into your settings panel like this. You want to go down into general, which is right here. You want to go and click on software update, and you want to go ahead and just update your iPhone. This is a really easy thing that may fix it for you too. So that's another thing I'd recommend looking at as well. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.